Hello, everybody. My name is David, and this is Only My Opinion Tech. Today, I'm going to do some green screen stuff. I've had a few people asking me how exactly you edit green screen footage. And there's a couple of different ways, and I'm not even going to be able to show you all the ways, but I'll show you enough to get you started. And just for fun today, you probably don't see my microphone. It's because it's clipped onto my glasses under my hat just for fun it's another one of those things hey i don't know if it'll work or not but that's how you learn you experiment if it doesn't work finesse it a little bit and if it still doesn't work maybe it's a bad idea we'll see about this one <laughs> anyway the first thing i want to say i'm using an iphone so this is kind of what the channel is about getting started with what you have, not going to a lot of expense. I'm using a Comica wireless microphone right now. It's the Boom X U2, which means it works on UHF and it's got uh, two transmitters. So I can have two people mic'd up at the same time. One of the things you want to do if you're using a phone, go to airplane mode first. And I'll tell you, with the green screen stuff, I'm not really doing this exactly right. I'm not lighting it properly. One of the things that affects your green screen performance is whether or not it's lit evenly. And I've got this uh, over the back of my bench, which is not exactly the same color as the wall. I painted the wall. Thank you, Sherry. I painted the wall green so that I could have a place to do this without having to set stuff up every time other than the tripod and the mic. What I'm going to do is this is going to be the footage right here that I'm going to show you how to edit. So that's what's coming up next. All right, I'm going to try to do this. I'm working around my iPhone. It's not set up on a very good mount. I'm not in a very good location, but I've got several people that have been wanting to see this. I'm going to try not to hit the table because that's what happens. This is LumaFusion. That's the icon that starts it. So here's what your basic program looks like. And here's all your photos, videos, moments, albums. And we're not concerned with that stuff right now. We're just going to go to the photo roll. There are a couple of ways to edit this, and the easy way for most people is just going to be to bring a, a picture over here, and that's all this is, is just a photograph. You can see there's no movement in it whatsoever. We're going to drag this over, and you've got a counter right here, the distance that I've moved it over. So I'm at, I'm at about uh, 10.11 seconds, so that's uh, 11 extra frames over 10 seconds. Now I can drag my video over and what I did is the original video that I just did that we're going to edit today, it turned out to be three minutes and that's with lots of ums and ahs and spaces. I edited all of those out so we're just working with one, one file and it turned in from 302 to a minute and 55 seconds. We're just going to drag this down here, drop it on top of the video. Now. I usually have a little bit of green screen and a lot of other stuff. So I usually keep my video on the primary line and I will show that to you in just a second. For right now, what we're going to do is apply the chroma key to this green right here. So you double tap on that segment of video and there's a little, looks like a keyhole up there. You touch that, there's your green screen. Now, you see there's a lot of weird stuff going on right here. And what that is, they have a different color green chosen than what my green background is. So you touch the eyedropper, you bring this over here, and as you see, my little covering on my bench is not the right color. So I'm going to kind of like split the difference on these two. Now... All of the other stuff is gone. All the green color is gone. Now I'll show you what happens down here. So when you start the video. Hello everybody. My name is David. All right. Now when you get to the end of this picture, it's going to go to a black screen because the green's turned off. And you can certainly do just, just this if that's what you want to do. My preferred way to do this, and with LumaFusion, 
it edits in layers. And this is your primary layer. You can have up to six layers of video. It shows the one that's on the top. We turn green off so you can see me through the green. Typically, what I do is I put my elements up here. Let me just show you. It's easier to show you than to tell you. So these are linked together. If I try to move them, they're going to both move. This little key right here, it looks like a piece of chain. That's Those are linked together. I'm going to unlink those. So now I can move this up. I can move my video down to my primary layer. It went to the end. Move this back down where I would normally have it. Now that's going to show because that's the layer that's on top. And that's what I was talking about a minute ago. That's the layer that's on top. That's the one that's going to show. So if we were to, let's say, drag a different picture. Let me find a picture real quick. If we drag a different picture on top, it's going to show that picture because that's the one that's on top. Now it'll show this one up into that point, and then it'll go back to this one. Delete that. Now what I do... And this, this makes it easier for me because I don't do an entire green screen video. I clone the bottom video track. So for me, you tap on that track. It's highlighted now. you got the little plus on just basically two boxes with a little plus underneath my pencil. Tap on that. Now there's a cloned track. That little line through there means that it has audio. I can turn it off over here. You can, if you need to see through a layer, you can do that. If you need to turn the audio off, you can do that. But I might have something else with audio in that layer. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go in here. I'm going to turn off the volume on my soundtrack. So now you're just going to hear the one. It's going to be the same volume that it was before. Now, if you want, you see, I'm actually moving in that clip. I can change that anywhere I want. If I want a video behind me, then all I've got to do is find a video. Okay, here's a video. Now I'm going to drag this over and I'm going to drop this on this line. That one actually is moving in the background. If you have a picture that you would like to animate. Let's drag this one down. And as you can see, it's uh, only two seconds long. So we want to fill in a little bit of time here. So let's make this one 10 seconds also. 11 seconds, that's close enough. Now, as you see, it's just a stationary picture for the whole time. So let's do this. Now we're at the beginning of this clip. We'll double tap on it. And you can see what it's going to look like. So to animate this thing, we're going to use keyframes. And that's what these little pieces down here are. What I'm going to do is I am going to... We'll just jack up the size on this thing to about right there, add a keyframe, just one, then I'm going to go to the end of the clip, double tap the screen, that'll take it back down to its original size, and it added a keyframe. We're back at the beginning, now I'm not going to, you can just hit play and it'll play normally, I'm just going to scroll through quickly just to show you that the size changes. So that's, this is really all you do, is you keep adding things to this, and you, you finally get the exact set of pictures and or videos in there. And then you render this, and it turns it into a movie. I think this is dragging on too long, so I want to show you one final thing. I went ahead and finished filling the rest of this stuff out, and I've got a couple of videos in there. And this is a still picture, but my head's right in the way. So you can go in at the beginning of this clip. I'm going to make a cut and I'll highlight the one I want to cut right there. I'll go to the end of that clip. I will make another cut. That one is still selected. So I'll make another cut, double tap on this, and then I will change 
you have to go this one is your special effects more or less this is your audio and you've got some other this is your speed and this is for your size and what have you so what i'm going to do is i'm going to drag my size down and i'm going to move me over here so that i'm not in the way of the video you want to try not to have your hands going off the edge of the screen or anything and you can you can use the xy position i just I find it easy just to drag it around to where I want it, make myself smaller. And then the car, that's just a static picture. So if I want to go in and change the uh, that particular picture, go in, go to the beginning of it. I'm going to add a keyframe. Now I'm going to go to the end of it. I'm going to change the size of it. And that automatically added another keyframe for me, and that's done. So I'll show you what that little segment looks like. Jeff, and it's got uh, two transmitters, so I can have two people mic'd up at the same time. One of the things you want to do if you're using a phone, go to airplane mode first. And I'll tell you, with the green screen stuff, I'm not really doing this. So you get the picture on that. Now we're back to videos. So to wrap this up, there's a lot of stuff you can do. You've got six layers of audio. The little uh, the iPhone that I put in, I stuck that in here, put a little whoosh sound in the sound line. And the idea, I put a light bulb up there, and then I put the ding for the light bulb down below it. So each one of these is a layer. That's a transparent layer, so you don't have to do anything with the green screen on it. You just drop it in there. You can find those things all over the place. You can make them yourself. The sound effects I purchased through audio, A-U-D-I-I-O.com. I purchased my music and stuff through them. I think it's a decent enough deal and kind of breaks stuff up. I'm not going to put any music in this particular video, but it would go down on this line, the new line underneath because I don't want it to cancel out my sound effects, or I can put the sound effects in last. If you're interested in how to do that part of the stuff, I'll go over a different video. I think this one's gone on too long. So if you uh, got anything out of this, give me a thumbs up. Check out some of the other videos on my channel. Subscribe for more stuff. Tell me what you want in the comments. If I didn't explain something or if I went into way too much detail, let me know about that too, and I'll catch you guys down the road.